Okay, this is uh, my astute glass submarine. It's uh, based on the trumpeter kit, but without a homebrew interior. And as you can see, she's been for a swim recently. I'm just going to explain how it works. Um, let's uh, turn that on and put the power on. There's a little thing here which tells you how much juice there is in the batteries. There's a motor and a gearbox there. Uh, and this thing is the ballast tank, um, and it's a tube, which I think is used for some sort of coolant for IT equipment or something, but I found it on the web. And it has a piston in it, which is propelled by this peristaltic pump here, which is like for medical equipment, uh, blood pressure monitors and things like that. And it works like this. So there it's pumping air in at the moment. And there's a, a little cut-off switch at each end of it, triggered by that prong thing there. Anyway, so you get the idea. The main benefit of this is it's got no rods, which some piston systems have. And it's extremely simple, and these are very powerful pumps. Um, it's got here, somewhere, I can't actually see it. That's the receiver, but under the receiver is a, is a stabiliser module. And if you look at the tail feathers here, when the submarine goes uh, pitches up or down, the stabiliser corrects it, which is extremely helpful because otherwise these things tend to pull this around all over the place and aren't much fun to drive. Um, and here's the motor with a plastic dog bone, which is really quite quiet, which is what you want. And if you come round the back here, you can see the, um, the propulsor fan, which I made out of a brass disc and um, cut to fit. And so that's that. And then you can see the um, rudder mechanism there. And the... the bow and stern dive planes. And then up here, it's quite hard to see it, but in here is a little tiny camera. And that camera there um, sends a signal up through this transmitter, and that sits in the fin. And uh, that sends a picture for a few hundred yards or so. It's got its own separate battery supply. And uh, that's that really, nothing much to explain. I did used to have the batteries in the back, but it's very hard to waterproof those. And if they leak current, then the uh, antenna stops working. So I brought all the batteries back inside and you can see them, little Duracell rechargeables. Those are all now safely inside the uh, dive module thing. So they are not leaking electricity and um, it works very well. She's good for about three or four metres, or at least that's as far as she's gone so far. Uh, I wouldn't risk any deeper than that. Um, and the transmission range goes out to at least 30 or 40 metres so far. It may go further, but I wouldn't know how deep at that range. Uh, and that's it, really.